Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. I woke up this morning um, peeing my pants and that only ever happens if I get a bladder infection. So I thought I would try and document as best I can the process that I go through um, in order to at least try and cure my bladder infections naturally um, without antibiotics or at least pharmaceutical antibiotics. So uh, this morning I went to the store and got so much garlic. I have an entire bag full of garlic. I am taking golden seal, which is another natural antibiotic. So garlic, natural antibiotic, golden seal, natural antibiotic. And then I am drinking a tea that has, um, oh, a whole bunch of stuff in it. Holy basil, nettle, red clover, dandelion, and hibiscus. So the things that are important in there are the um, nettle and the dandelion. They are both natural diuretics that help flush your um, bladder and your kidneys. It just helps flush excess fluid out of your body that you don't need, excess fluid in your tissue that you're holding on to, and it helps, yeah, just flush out your kidneys and bladder. So um, I am doing those things. I'm still peeing my pants. I'm incontinent every 15 minutes or so, um, which is super annoying. So far, it's all stayed in the poise pad that I have um, on, and I've just been able to change that every 15 minutes, but I'm assuming it's gonna get worse the more I drink. I'm also drinking about 500 milliliters every half an hour, every half an hour, 45 minutes, to try and flush my bladder, so. I'll keep you guys posted and let you follow me along on my day. The other thing I forgot to mention is I'm taking Echinacea. So it's an immune system uh, support herb. I'm taking uh, one of those. This video is not gonna be fancy. This, because I have no makeup on, I woke up this morning. My house is messy, so this is real life. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes for the garlic, um, the antibiotic component in the garlic to uh, develop because it has to um, mix with the air in order for the enzyme in the garlic to actually develop the antibiotic, which is called allicin. And so I have to wait 10 minutes. I've cut it up, I have to wait 10 minutes and then I will swallow it with water. I just take like a handful of it in my fingers like this and then I put it in my mouth under my tongue and I swallow it. It's uh, kind of nasty, but garlic works. All right, so I ate garlic, took my golden seal and my echinacea, drank a big glass of tea, and now I am just gonna keep drinking throughout the day. I've probably been incontinent like six times. For those of you who don't have a spinal cord injury, um, you can see what it's like to have a bladder infection when you can't just go to the bathroom on your own very easily and you can't hold it and you're incontinent and stuff. So might be an eye opener for some of you that follow me that don't have a disability. For those of you that do have a disability, you know how I feel. You know how I feel. I just changed my poise pad in my underwear for like the 10th time today and I'm no longer going to change it every single time because I'm peeing in my pants and incontinent like every five minutes or so. I'm sitting on a blue pad that's like an absorbent pad um, so that I don't get my cushion completely destroyed. And I probably at some point today will not even bother wearing pants, just sit on a blue pad and let myself pee a million times on a blue pad. So this is my life for the next 24 hours until I can get this bladder infection under control. I have graduated to not wearing pants. 
sitting on a blue pad and just letting myself pee a million times because I don't want to go pee every five minutes. So that's where I'm at right now. Sitting on a blue pad, letting my body do its thing while I support it with um, tea, garlic, golden seal, and echinacea. Okay, so it's about 11. I peed so many times, um, but this time I held 200 milliliters. Um, so that's good news. I think it might be getting better. But um, just gonna keep drinking, keep peeing, keep flushing, and keep you posted. Okay, it is 12.30. I finally was not incontinent for the first time today. I've drank, I think, two and a half liters. Um, and so I'm feeling a little better. I am going to drink more water, uh, take more garlic, three cloves, three times a day. Hopefully by the end of today, I will stop being incontinent and I will keep taking garlic for five days and then um, every morning and night for the next couple days after that. So normally I use um, three cloves, but it depends on the size. So I wanted to show you guys. This is just two cloves because this is a really, really big one. Um, and this one's a fairly big one too. So if it is, um, if it's a really big clove, then you only have to use two. And so I do this three times a day and fill it with water, just like I would an antibiotic. And I'm also taking the uh, golden seal three times a day. So I'll do that until I feel like I'm completely in the clear and then I will just do one clove of garlic in the morning and one at night uh, to kind of keep the bacteria at bay. I also ordered some probiotics um, to help with my vaginal flora to improve that and um, then it will help me prevent infections after I cure this one. Okay, garlic is all cut up and I am just going to wait. 10 minutes for the allicin, which is the antibiotic component in the garlic, to develop, and then I'm gonna swallow it with some water. Good morning. Uh, this morning I am going to eat more. Good morning, my daughter. Um, I'm gonna eat more garlic. I switched from golden seal herbal tincture to uva ursi because I spoke to a herbalist that um, I know, so she recommended that I switch to that. And so I'm taking that. I will let you guys know the dosage when I take it. I'm gonna eat more garlic. Come on, you little Come on, you little Come on, you little Come on, you I'm finally able to hold almost 300 milliliters um, before I have to pee. So that's good news. I think, uh, I think I'm getting better. Hey guys, I am in my bathroom now. So this is Uva Ursi. St. Francis Herb Farm is what I use here in Canada. I'll put some links in the description below of where I get it. Um, and then this is Golden Seal, the one that I was first taking and then I switched to Uva Ursi. They both are natural antibiotics and they both uh, are effective for UTIs. So I take this along with the garlic that I've been eating three times a day. I actually ate garlic four times a day yesterday just because um, I thought I needed it. I also take this UTI cleanse, which is a mixture of cranberry extract and D-mannose. So I take that um, in the morning and at night and I take that all the time. So I take that for prevention all the time and then just the garlic and these other things when I actually have an active UTI, which I get a couple of times a year. Hey guys, I am going to show you what I do to test my urine um, when I have an infection or before I have an infection um, or any time that I feel like testing my urine to see if there's white blood cells in it or what the pH is. I get these um, strips from Amazon 
They are just your urinalysis strips, urinalysis reagent strips. And um, I went to the bathroom in my container. And then I, um, this is gross, but I have a cup that's like designated for my pee. So I pour, I pour um, a little bit of pee in there. It's gross, but necessary. I take them out. You have to take them out really fast because they can't really touch air. So grab one fast and then put the lid back on as fast as I can. And then I dip it, run it along the edge and then hold it sideways um, on a piece of um, paper towel, you can't really see. Hold it sideways to let the urine drain off and then the leukocyte test takes um, two minutes and the other tests take like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, but so I just always wait two minutes and then I compare it to the picture on the side to see what the levels are. Um, and then that tells me if I still have white blood cells in my urine, which is a good indicator of if you still have an active infection, if your body's trying to fight something in your bladder that um, is in there like bacteria or whatever, and also just what my urine pH is, especially if taking the Uva Ursi that I showed you guys and the Golden Seal, they work better if your urine pH is above seven. So in an alkaline urine environment and not in an acidic one. So if you're taking that um, and your urine is not um, basic or alkaline, which means above seven uh, pH, then you can drink um, some baking soda in water a few times a day. And it usually says that on the Uva Ursi um, container. So the leukocytes look good, like there's nothing in there. So that's good. That means that my infection's getting better. I'm not peeing my pants anymore, which is good. I'm still drinking a lot, 500 milliliters every hour or so, maybe every two hours, and still peeing about every hour, hour and a half. So I'll do that for a couple more days, um, just to make sure that I'm in the clear. I'll eat garlic until Sunday, I'll take the medicine until Sunday, so that will be five days, and then I'll usually eat garlic morning and night for another little bit, just to kind of give myself that buffer. And then keep taking uh, D-Manos, which I do every single day anyway, two in the morning and two at night, uh, to prevent bladder infections, and then I'm going to take a probiotic um, to just repopulate my gut bacteria because uh, the natural antimi antimicrobials that I'm taking will kill a little bit of the gut bacteria as well. Hey guys, uh, here I am eating garlic. I'm actually going to work. I'm a substitute teacher, so I got asked to teach this afternoon. I'm teaching music, which is super fun. Um, and I hope I my bladder holds up while I'm at work. So I got asked to teach on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, both days that I didn't feel very good um, and I had to turn them down because I didn't want to pee at work um, and I want to be close to a bathroom but they were very understanding about me having bladder infection and still called me today to see if I wanted to work this afternoon so um, I'm gonna go and do that but I'm gonna eat my garlic first so down the hatch All gone. Okay, so I take this just like it would be an antibiotic or medicine, except for that the garlic I have to take more often because the antibiotic is less potent. And so I just take it like I would an antibiotic and I make it a full-time job for five days. I have a lot of friends that ask me how I cure my bladder infections naturally, and this is it, this is all I do. I just am consistent with my water, my tea, my um, herbal medicine and my garlic. To start off my journey with curing my bladder infections, I didn't even know anything about herbal medicine. That was, you know, only in the last couple of years that I knew that. So before that, it was just water and garlic. That was it. So if you're struggling with bladder infections, I highly recommend giving it a try. Hey guys, I got back from work and I made it mostly successfully through work. Peed a little bit. 
stayed in the poise pad, so it was okay. Um, I'm still like, every time I get a bladder infection, I'm like, oh, I don't trust my bladder. So I'm still drinking a lot. And I might start taking a teaspoon of baking soda in water a couple times a day to make sure my urine is alkaline so that the Uva Ursi that I'm taking um, is more effective. I hope this video is helpful. I have no idea if this video is helpful, but I just want to document the, the process of me having a bladder infection because to somebody that is dealing with like chronic infections, this information might be so helpful. And I hope it is, I really hope it is. Uh, if you watch long enough, gosh, I know people watch YouTube videos for like two minutes and then turn them off. So um, for any of you that are watching this long, I hope it's helpful to you. And you can let me know in the comments below if it is helpful to you. Um, and if any of this is resonating with you. I got such a stomach ache after taking the baking soda. It's so salty. And like, as soon as it hit my stomach, it was just bleh, not good. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. So I'm just going to use food to alkalize my urine, eat lots of dark greens, um, not eat so much meat or dairy. And you can Google, there's a whole bunch of things that help to make your urine more basic or alkaline. So I'm just gonna do that today. Um, Guess what guys, I actually remembered to take a video when I'm doing my Uber Ursi. So I have a little medicine cup here. It says here to take 1.5 to three millimeter, millimeters, milliliters, milliliters um, three times a day in a little water on an empty stomach. I am going to pour about I take about 2.5 milliliters. I'm not very heavy, so I try to calibrate for my weight just based on what I think. So I have 2.5 milliliters there. Just a heads up with Uva Ursi. Um, it's definitely meant for short-term usage. Uh, it can be hard on the liver when you take it for long periods of time. So you should usually only take it for five days at a time. Um, and definitely stick with the recommended dosage. I think five milliliters three times a day is the max. Um, and 1.5 would be like the minimum to be effective. So stick with those. And then I just like pour it in here. Just a heads up, it is a tincture. It tastes just like alcohol. So if you don't like the taste of alcohol, I don't really like the taste of alcohol. You're not gonna enjoy it. This is my last dose of garlic for this vlog. Uh, done the garlic, done my like protocol. And I don't know if this video is helpful or just boring as crap to everybody watching. Uh, but if you have watched this far, I hope you did find it helpful. I know how stressful it can be to have a urinary tract infection. I had them chronically for so many years and now I get them uh, usually about every six months, sometimes more depending on how diligent I'm being about drinking, how stressed out I am, um, all those kinds of things and they just pop up every once in a while and then I have to make sure that I do this five day sort of protocol that I've come up with. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. I will put links to everything that I've used and um, the amounts of garlic and stuff like that that I eat in the description below. I will also link to the video that I did about curing my UTIs and a blog post that I wrote about the same thing. That's all guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you next week on another video, bye.